Hello, welcome back. <clears throat> Excuse me. Welcome back to Art of Cycling. I'm Greg Leach. Glad you're here. I appreciate it. It's been um, an interesting day. And little of it actually having to do with what the Peloton is doing today. The day started with, and I really should have painted the little finger wag moment. Um, well, actually, I guess it happened yesterday, but the news started yesterday that um, Demi Vollerin, who had ridden behind her team car as it retook re its place and position, um, was penalized 20 seconds, which seemed a bit extreme. Ironically, the team made a bad decision. She was all prepared. She had a flat front tire and she pulled out her bottle bo bottles and picked off her computer so that she would be um, able to jump on the next bike and get going and have all of her things that she needed. And instead they changed her front wheel, which of course takes longer. And I don't know who made that decision, but ultimately that's the race director's call. And so on the way back to the Peloton, she stuck in behind her car. And at some point in that process, first you could hear the um, race director blowing his whistle behind the car and pointing what you could only assume was to get out of the way and to get back into place and, you know, I'm sorry, I'm forgetting the race director, I mean the uh, director Sportif's name right now. But um, he just didn't do it, he just kept driving. And she kept following and finally, he did pull over and she went ahead and then there's a little more drama. So, <clears throat> the end of the stage, and of course, he got a little gesture, a little, you know, handwriting gesture and one more point. And, uh, but the race director for SD Works got on Twitter and told everybody they were incompetent. You know, and that of course started a firestorm on Twitter too. You know, I try to keep my Twitter stuff as positive as possible, but a lot of others don't. <laughs> and with the change of ownership, it seems to have gotten worse, not better. But that's a whole other conversation. If you want to follow me on Twitter, I'm the Art of Cycling over there on Twitter. I've considered leaving that lovely um, trash can fire that it's become, but you know, I have quite a few followers there and I don't have that kind of reach anywhere else. I used to be on Facebook for a long time, but somebody s stole my account there and did some terrible things and they'll let other very awful people back on, but they won't let me back on. But I've now gotten to the point where that's fine. <laughs> so, and then today, I've never heard of this happening before. Well, I have heard of riders getting disqualified for holding on to a, um, a team car. In fact, a whole bunch were kicked out of the um, Junior Giro this year. But, um, yeah, the commissaire, so they came, not only did they kick out the rider for holding onto the car, um, what was her name? I had it here a minute ago, so I would remember. Um, Lada Hintala, who rides for uh, AG Insurance, but they also kicked out the team car. I've never heard of that one. 
But I mean, ultimately, she was holding on to the car and they didn't say, hey, you can't do that. And I think they've gotten a little more in even um, Hannah Walker, who's the female commentary with uh, Anthony McCawson, 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 McCawson. Um, thought that was a bit much. And what I don't know is does that mean that there will only be one teen car? Which is a really severe punishment. Because <laughs> that, you know, literally risks quite a bit. And for the woman who sits in second place, uh, Ashley Woolman Passio or Ashley Woolman, they did just have a conversation about Emma Norsgaard here and how riders have multiple names and It also has women in Mary, some still engage in that taking their spouse's name. For the record, my wife did not, nor did I ever think she should. Just seems a bit archaic to me. And so it's interesting. So Emma Norsgaard is listed on my race list as Eamon Jorgensen and I thought I was going like they must be misidentifying her and then I looked and her bib number number four is listed as Emma Jorgensen but according to Anthony she prefers to be called Jorgensen I mean not Jorgensen sorry um, Norsgaard and kind of just as my wife had already started to establish a professional name and her name being Bridget Gethins, it's a lot more interesting than Leach. Even my sister didn't keep her name when she married. Although <laughs> she's taken it back now <laughs> since she has divorced. So all of this is sort of to say that uh, Emma needs to be a little careful here as she's passed a bottle from her team car because they are getting a lot more letter of the law in this race. Don't know if it was as severe in the men's race. I don't, don't recall anybody getting team Getting, uh, certainly nobody was kicked out of the race. So, are they just being hard ass on the women? Or are they kind of using the women to signal that, hey, we're gonna take this stuff seriously. I mean, the rules are there, everybody knows they exist, but, and I think that was Demi Vollerin's team's point is like, look, we've done this forever, and suddenly now we can't? Which is a bit of a wrong <laughs> argument you consider it's right there in the rules that they can't. <laughs> so these three are off the front, have been for most of the stage, and until now they really haven't been given much of a leeway. But at this point they have built up almost two minutes on the peloton as they approach the final climb of the day. So this, this is gonna be a light blue right here, but I'm worried that that red is so wet. 
then it might be a problem. So break my own rules. Well, actually I'm still using light blue, but I want to stay away from that for a minute. Because I don't want the color to bleed. But conversely, I do want a soft blend here, so if it bleeds a little bit, so much the better. Of course, all that talk of red, and I forgot to put red with the other place I needed it. Right there. So now I'll come in, I think that's giving me enough time to play in this. I think it's Sertiz it. Sertiz it. <sighs> Having trouble today, folks. Is that team kit? I don't know if you can hear it, my phone's over there making all kinds of noise. All right, so I'm gonna to shift to the grass before I start laying in the dark colors. Grass has seemed to have really become a element in a lot of these paintings today. And for certain writers, it's been rather horrible. The um, Rider for EF Education, as of yet, I haven't gotten a name, but I don't think she's rejoining the race. Went off the side of the road just a little bit ago. The polka dot jersey also went in and was able to get back up and running. Another teammate at least stopped, probably went down, but didn't really crash. Waited for her and Paced her back, and of course I was trying to find the right image. It just didn't really work to show um, collar with a very bloodied arm. Point you can see her kind of shaking out her arm. <laughs> All I could think of while she did it was, Ugh, she's slinging blood everywhere. <laughs> on these hot summer days and group rides and I always have this is it starting to rain and then realize no what I was feeling was the sweat flying off the guy in front of me that's why I kind of went yeah if she's um, flicking her arm like that with all that blood coming off of it she's got to be Painting the people behind her. Sad to say those behind her are probably used to it, or at least not totally freaked out by it. Yet again, I forgot to sign the title before I started painting. I like to do that just in case the ink bleeds. Because usually the last thing I'll do is paint the road surface, and that's a very wet technique. And so the pen can do two things. One, bleed, and two, not want to work anymore. Sorry, trying to think of the title. Well, while I'm thinking, I'll write my name. My very illegible signature. Here, we'll call it working together, which is both what her team, her director sportif is doing with her, 
and what they are doing together to hold off the peloton. So now we'll build a black. Oops, still a little bit more green. There we go. Start with her shorts, because I want that to be the darkest. It tends to be when I first build the color because the act of building it really saturates the brush. That tends to be when it is most. Just realized I got some blues down here to do. That's its most intense. And then, particularly like I just dipped into the water there gets a little more watery and therefore less of an intense black because the color is diluted in the ratio of pigment to water. So that of course means I want to come back with more a deeper color and get this tired up pop from the black of the car. <coughs> Just taking a moment to look, make sure. I think I want to go ahead and include a little bit of these shadows. Sorry, the mailman has come, so the dogs need to protect us. So, you get to hear Pip bark. And so now the road surface goes in and that will help pop this white jersey of the Movie Star kit. I used to always have a blue, a pale blue jersey with a dark blue M on it. And they've switched to this, which I think helps keep the riders cooler. Certain occasions you'll be able to see a rider in a dark kit and you get a close look and they've got salt rings all over their jersey. I think that's why most of the teams have moved away from a dark jersey now. But they've also moved into having mesh on the back, which I'm sure helps keep them cooler, but now it means they have to worry about sunscreen on their backs, which with the kits they didn't have to before. So again, you can find me over on Twitter at the art of, I mean, um, yeah, art of cycling, and all of these works, all of my Tour de France and Tour de France femme paintings are on my blog, where you can read about them and find a direct link to my website, and the blog is theartofcycling.blogspot.com, sensing a uh, theme there. And um, there you can find links at the blog to purchase the artwork. So it's all for sale. Shipping's included domestically, but I do ship internationally as well. So thanks for taking the time to watch. And uh, also I'm over on Instagram if you want to check that out as well. But there I'm Greg Artist. So thank you so much. Appreciate you watching. Hope you'll subscribe, leave a comment, tell me what you think.